Killjoy gang, I made it to Miami. Yes, I left this morning at like 5 a.m. It was way too early to be trying to vlog, y'all. I was tired, okay? I was super tired. And I just had got these braids done. My hair was hurting. So I just wanted to take a little break. But I just landed. It's about 5 p.m. out here in Miami. Um, and yeah, I just got to my room. I'm not the happiest about my room, but I know I'm only gonna be here for nine days so i'm not really tripping about it but i kind of wish i was closer to the beach watch i'm gonna show y'all my room but um yeah this is where i'm at i can see the beach from afar but this is the only thing i hate just this building right here like i didn't know that was right here and it's kind of too late for me to even go ahead and change my um my hotel i went looked online there's not a lot of rooms available right now so i just left it to be what it was um so yeah there's something wet right there on my freaking i don't know what that is but yeah so i'm in miami i'm about to go grocery shopping so i have some snacks here for when i get back from surgery it's sunday my surgery is until wednesday so i have pre-op on tuesday and then tomorrow i'm gonna run around try to get all my fall hauls and everything like that let me show you guys my room so i do have my best friend coming to stay with me she's coming the day of surgery so yeah the room is chill it's nothing too big nothing too crazy here I am. The lighting is terrible in here, guys. But, um, oh yeah, you guys can see me a little bit more right here. But the thing I did like about this was there is a kitchen here in this, um, in the hotel. So I thought it was dope. I'm able to make my own little quick snacks and stuff like that. And then here's the bathroom. I really like the bathroom. Real chill. So yeah, guys, this body is about to get done. You hear me? I'm excited. I wanted to show you guys what I packed. Since I didn't get to show you when I was actually packing, I'm about to just go ahead and show you guys right now since I'm unpacking my stuff anyways. So I gotta see if there's another light in here because this is terrible. So let me show you guys what I got so far. Um, all my skincare stuff. Someone hit in my line. Let me see. Um, so I'm I don't know if I'm gonna use everything, but this is the things that most people say they need. So I did get me some depends. So I got me some depends. Um I got me this detox cleaner because I'm really trying to make sure my system is clean. Um I'm a I used to be a heavy smoker, so I just want to, you know, I'm just a little paranoid. So I just want to make sure I got all my pills, all my iron pills and um, vitamins. I was lucky enough to be able to, I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to get this on the plane because it is over four ounces, 16 ounces, but I mean, it's, the, it's not the whole thing, but um, yeah, I got my Nutriburst. I packed all my skincare. Something in here is wet, and I don't know what it is. Hmm. But, um. Oh, this is what the fuck it is. My damn skincare shit. Fucking everything up. Anyways. Um. Yeah, I got some gauzes. I also got this, uh, my best friend, she's an RN that's coming to stay with me. So I got this so she can be able to tell um, my blood pressure and everything like that. Just to make sure I'm good. I got my dial soap. Just, you know, um, pre-op, you got to make sure that you are clean with dial soap. Also got a thermometer, make sure I don't have a temperature. And I got this on Amazon. I also got, um, I also got this off of Amazon as well. I got my Arnica gel, which I also got off of Amazon. Y'all, Amazon is lit. Some extra face masks because it is COVID out here. Um, I did buy some pads. I heard that pads were great for compressing. So I went ahead and grabbed um, some like long length 
pad. So we'll see how that goes. Ponytail holders, um, some tape, surgical tape. Um, I bought some wipes. Make sure I'm nice and clean. Some Tylenol, sponges, colas. Um, my doctor's doll's plastic surgery, they told us that we need to... Hold on, guys. This thing is, like, not focusing. That we need to take um, stool softeners two days prior. So, I'm going to start taking this tomorrow just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. I got some hauls. Some whip wipes because it is COVID. I'm going to carry this with me everywhere I go. Um, I got the shower shower um shower curtain liner i'm gonna line my bed the um the morning of when i leave to go for my surgery and i also got some mattress covers just some extra ones so the bed don't get all messed up got my boom box hopefully this thing is not broke my boom box y'all know i love to listen to music but yeah, that's pretty much what I packed. Oh, and I also put some stuff away in here. I have my um, doggy pads that I also got on Amazon that I'm gonna put on the bed when I get ready to dress the bed. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Other than my clothes and comfy things to wear, that's all I really brought with me is just some clothes and stuff. Um, I am about to go to Publix, the grocery store out here. I'm about to go there and get some water, Pedialyte snacks like nuts and applesauce and whatever else I can eat while I'm here because I know I'm not going to want to eat that much. So I just want to make sure I have some stuff ready, set, go. So I'm going to go ahead, walk over to Publix and Uber back. I didn't get to rent a car one my best friend's only gonna be here for the first three days and after that how am i gonna be driving and taking that thing back and then two i don't have my driver's license so that is not possible anyway so i'm just ubering right now luckily i do have a couple homegirls out here that um are driving and stuff so they should be linking up with me tonight or tomorrow sometime this this week so I'm cool with the driving. I'm going to just Uber and stuff like that. I don't plan on going anywhere crazy. So, I'm fine with the not having a car. But, I'm about to put all of this stuff away. Organize. And then, I'm going to head over to Publix. And, I'm going to show y'all what I end up grabbing. Okay? Good morning, Killjoy gang. I am back yesterday let me take this damn face mask off yesterday um i went to the grocery store i was hot y'all miami weather right now is literally so sticky and humid i i had to take a shower i was burnt out um so i didn't get to finish the vlog but i i'm when i get back to the crib i'm gonna show y'all what i bought but i just bought some pedialyte some waters um applesauce little just like little soft food to eat oatmeal and stuff to eat when i get out of surgery one of my homegirls just pulled up on me last night daisy so she got the whip and we're about to go to pick up some of my surgery equipment excuse me so let me tell y'all something, okay? When I first booked my appointment to get surgery was a year ago. I booked with New Life Plastic Surgery because I wanted to go to Dr. Harry. I put $500 deposit down. Let's fast forward uh, a year later. I have two years to use that deposit. I was going to go back to Dr. Harry there. Dr. Harry ended up leaving and going to Dolls Plastic Surgery. So when that happened... I didn't want to go to New Life no more. Like, the only other doctor at New Life was Doback, and she wasn't available until over a year later. I wasn't going to wait over a year to see Doback, and I didn't really care about going to see her. I mean, this, the bodies that she's done, I, it's cool. I like it. They look good, but I just didn't care about going to her. So, I called um, New Life Plastic Surgery, and I was like, yo, I need my $500 back since um, y'all didn't even let me know Dr. Harry's not there no more. Oh, ma'am, well, you booked with the you booked with the clinic. You didn't book. The deposit is with the clinic. The deposit is not with the doctor. 
doesn't make sense like how was it not with the doctor when i picked the doctor that i want to get so they're scammers y'all please 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 do not go to new life plastic surgery they are scammers um so i was like well i need that 500 like y'all need y'all not just gonna be cashing out for no reason right so i was like okay can i get my surgical equipment from them like my bbl pillow and my garments my fall hauls and stuff and they were like yeah you can use it you just can't order on like you have to come in and come pick it up another scam but i was like all right bet so we're on our way i'm about to go to new life right now and see what the what is going on because i need to pick up some fajas a pillow some boards so i was like i might as well just use that 500 dollars with all of that since it's gonna come up to that price anyways i'm just praying and hoping that they do not try to be on some bs with me so we'll see y'all um we're getting gas right now and then we're heading out to new life which is about like a good 40 minutes away so I'm gonna let you know. I'm also gonna go stop at like Target on Marshalls and get some blankets. Something's weird about me. I hate sleeping in hotels. Like I like hotels, but I don't like hotels. I don't like sleeping in the hotels. I don't like the blankets and I don't like the towels. Like there's something about it. I just like my own personal stuff, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Last night I barely slept because I was just so uncomfortable in the bed and you know, it's COVID right now. So I just have to be super careful with germs and stuff so i'm on high alert so i'm just gonna go buy me some nice cozy comfy blankets so when i get out of surgery i'm nice and warm and toasty um and yeah y'all like that's pretty much all that's happening today um dolls plastic surgery hit me up um told me that my pre-op is tomorrow at 12 p.m so tomorrow's tuesday and then i go into surgery on wednesday so I'm just hoping everything's okay. I'm a little bit scared about the drug test. I don't do drugs, but, you know, they said that they don't want nicotine in your system. And um, I don't smoke cigarettes and stuff, but I do smoke marijuana here and there. So, um, and I know the blunts have the nicotine, so that's my only worry. So, I'm detoxing right now and trying to get everything out of my system, but I should be fine. My weight is where I'm supposed to be at, and... I'm drinking plenty plenty of water so i'm just hoping everything goes good guys um i'm nervous i'm picking fights with my man because he's not out here and i'm like i wish he was out here but it's okay because i know he's handling business and i need to handle my business and get this surgery and get back home to my life and back to him and stuff like that so I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm excited at the same time. I'm ready to, I'm ready for the surgery to be over, y'all. I'm ready. I'm tired of walking around in Miami with a mask on. Like, I just want to go home. So, I mean, anywhere you go, you're going to have a mask on, but I'm just ready to go. So, I'm about to hit the road right now. And once we get to new life, y'all, I will let y'all know what's going on. All right. All right, y'all. We're about to go to new life. I don't want to cuss nobody out today, but we're going to see. Hopefully, everything is good. It's my first time here. This is where I would have been getting my surgery at, so I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, okay. Got niggas up here. They got a dentist place right here? No. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. I can, right? I can use my deposit? Yeah, but, but your deposit is only for garment, um, boards and stuff. It's not include the pillow? Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, where's the garments and stuff at? I have very, very, very good garments. You have good? Amazing, yeah. For the things amazing, but when you wash me, my love, believe me. Leaving new life, y'all. Hot ass mess up in there. But I got all of my shit. Got the pillow, got my garments, so I'm ready for surgery. I'm ready. About to bust some missions with Daisy and get ready 
for surgery. Two more days, y'all. Two more days. Good morning, Killjoy gang. It is 11.30 in the morning. Today is my pre-op for my surgery. So I'm about to head out to Doll's Plastic Surgery. You know, get checked up, sign some paperwork. I'm going to bring y'all with me. I am super excited and nervous at the same time. I barely could sleep last night. I was on YouTube all night looking at other people's reviews and bodies and trying to figure out how I'm going to look like. And I had to remind myself that everybody's body is different. So what you, someone else looked like might not be what I look like. But I am excited. Sorry, it's really loud outside. I'm really excited, though, to get started and meet my doctor. Hopefully, I meet my doctor. My doctor is Dr. Kriegel. Um, I told you guys earlier that um i did have dr harry and then i switched my bmi is at 34 so dr harry needed my bmi at under 33 and i just was tired of losing weight i was tired of it i lost already over uh 35 pounds for the surgery and i just wanted to get a jump start and plus this is the only time i'm gonna be free to really recover i know it's covid so i'm about to put my mask on and call this uber and i'm about to go head over to doll's plastic surgery Come on. Sí, sí, no, a veces es así, sí, yo también, allá esto bueno. Yo más, no, yo yo más o menos eso y, y ahora es de la, es de la noche y media. Sí, pero... Am I going to see the doctor today? Kriegel? Does he do um, J plasma? No. No? What about cell saver? No. Yeah, I see. All right, Jory, come with Okay. What's up, y'all? I am back. I just came back from my pre op. Sorry, I didn't get to film too much. There was a lot going on in there, but. All I did was sign my paperwork, take my pictures for my before pictures, and that was pretty much it, and, and pay my payment. So my appointment is tomorrow at 6 a.m. That is my surgery time, so I'm gonna be up real early. Shout out to the scheduling manager. First they were gonna have me come in at 4 p.m. Y'all, I was like, I'm way too anxious. I need to have my surgery like first thing in the morning, seriously, because it was just way too early so i mean way too late so she is the best she was able to push me all the way up to the first person at 6 a.m so i'm excited to get that done and just out the way <laughs> my nerves is bad so i'm like i need to just hurry up and get this out the way um i'm back in the hotel i'm so irritated because the room that they gave me at this hotel i'm never coming to this hotel again by the way um this is the residence in um, Miami sunny Isles Beach so we're right by the beach but the customer service is not the best I let them know when I came in that I'm getting surgery so that's why I'm here they gave me a room with the door that literally guys I cannot even open the door and I'm strong and I'm like forcefully opening and closing the door I ain't gonna have that strength to do that when I get surgery. I already know I'm not gonna have the strength especially since I'm getting arm lipo too. Y'all want me to be doing tug of war with the door like that's not happening so um i told them when i first came in two days ago that i need them to fix the door switch my room they said oh yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna fix the room we're gonna we're gonna fix the door cool bet i unpacked everything um yesterday you know i was running around didn't hear nothing from them they said they fixed it i come back to my room and ain't fixed i'm tired so i'm like whatever i'm not gonna deal with it I came back from my pre-op i went straight to the front desk and was like yo y'all didn't fix the door like what's going on the person who the on on staff like what they call him um i don't know bob the builder or whatever you want to call her she was the one that fixed the door saying yeah i sanded it down but in order for me to fix it i'm gonna have to take the door completely down girl i'm not here for a construction work either y'all gonna put me in a new room or I'm going to get my money back and I'm leaving. Like, I, I don't have time to play with y'all. I could go to another hotel. So, after that, they finally called me talking about, we got a new room for you. I just went down there and I checked it out and the door is way better. I can open the door and close the door. That's all I'm asking for, y'all. It's not too hard. Just give me a door that works. Like, 
So now it's annoying because I have to pack up all my stuff that I already unpacked in this room. Pack it up and move it down to the other room and unpack again. So super frustrating. But I'm about to go ahead and do that because it's going to be helpful for me when I get out of surgery. I don't want to be dealing with opening no tough doors. So I'm about to pack up all my stuff right now. But I am excited. Oh, the, they had me sign like literally guys. It was a stack. It took me an hour, like an over an hour to sign all the paperwork dolls wanted me to sign. But I'm excited. I saw a couple girls there that had their surgery already done by Kriegel and they looking good. I saw some dolls that got their stuff done by Harry. They looking good too. So I'm excited to be a part of that. Be a part of dolls. I know the surgeons, they are good. The staff, they are good too. They chill, you know, I like them. But they also, the girls in the front, they also have a little attitude problem. And I don't know where that comes from. Maybe it's a Miami thing or whatever. But, you know, if I'm asking you a question, you know, you can look and answer the question to me face to face. You don't have to be looking other ways or rolling your eyes or whatever. Like, look, I, I didn't spend bands to get here and to get the surgery done. So I need y'all to... You know, respect my time, answer my questions and stuff. But besides that, it's cool. My coordinator, my coordinator, Sherry, y'all, she is a hot mess, okay? At first, she was great. Like, I would call her with questions. She would answer. She was cool. Bomb. Then, towards the end, closer to my day of the surgery, she started getting a little flaky. Like, I had called her to switch doctors. And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call, hit me up tomorrow. Hit me up tomorrow. So, I'm like... All right, I'm going to hit you up tomorrow. Hit her up the next day. Don't hear from her. I'm like blowing her phone up. Now she not answering my phone. She's sending me to voicemail like she damn near blocked my phone number. Like, girl, what is the problem? Like, you're my coordinator. Did you change my doctor or not? I'm going there in a couple. Like, you know, I need I need some days notice of what's going on. I'm not going to come all the way to Miami. I took off work and everything like that just to come and, and, and not be able to happen. So that was the most annoying part. Sherry. Do not have her as a coordinator. I don't know what's going on with her. They said she is sick or something. But it's been a couple weeks. So I don't, you know, I'm praying for baby girl. I don't know what's going on with her. But at least they could have let me know was, yo, she's not in, she's not working right now. She's off. We're going to set you up another coordinator. But, you know, I dealt with stuff myself. I called the scheduling manager myself. And I was like, yo, transfer me to the scheduling manager. I'm going to reschedule this myself. And... Um, luckily she was able to schedule me with Kriegel for the same day, um, and everything worked out well, so, you know, the staff there is great, the coordinator I had, she kind of sucks, so, hopefully you guys get a better coordinator than me, but other than that, doll plastic surgery is clean, it's a really nice, pretty place, like, it's in a nice center, way better than how new life is new life look like they low-key trapped out out there like the cars is parked all over the damn place and it just looked like oh they had girls waiting in the garage it was looking crazy up in there so i'm just glad that i was able to switch to dolls and i'm really happy and i feel comfortable i need to eat my last meal i'm gonna eat my last meal before six and it's three o'clock right now we're about to be 4 o'clock, so I'm going to hurry up, pack all my stuff, unpack it in the other room, and then I'm going to go. They have a little food, little restaurant here in the hotel, so I'm just going to go down there and eat. And then, y'all, I'm about to just chill, take my little shower they want me to take with my dowel soap, shave and everything, and get my mind ready for this. My best friend who's a nurse, she's an RN, she's coming to take care of me after surgery. But her flight doesn't land until 7.50 a.m. tomorrow. My surgery is at 6 a.m. So I have another um, homegirl here. So hopefully we're going to see how it works. She might come and, and drop me off there. And then, you know, my other friend come and actually pick me up from, you know, since she's a nurse, you have to leave with the nurse there. So they'll, they'll she'll come and pick me up after she get out from the airport and stuff like that. So... But we'll see. It's either going to be that or I'm going to just pull up to dolls by myself and be like, look, my, my person is flying in and she'll be here at 7 a.m. So start the surgery or not. So I'm excited about that. And yeah, I'm just going to drink as much water as I can. Hopefully I could get down up, get like two gallons in today and... You know, say my prayers, y'all. But let me get up. I'm going to go ahead and pack all my stuff and move this stuff to the other room. 
feel like they should give me a discount for doing all this work right now because I didn't say that for that. But it's all good, you know, it's better. I can't be pushing. Look, I'm about to show y'all this damn door because it's ridiculous. Like, how did y'all expect me to really open this door? Like, okay. So this is the door. First off, it's not even all the way closed. So this is all the way closed. Y'all, I swear I'm pulling this. Ah! Oh, I can't even open it. Oh, shit. Like, what? Like, it's, it's... This is freaking ridiculous. Like, I have to literally beat this door up in order to open it. So, I'm gonna pack up my stuff. It sucks because I have all my stuff here in the little kitchen. I already have stuff in the freaking fridge. Like, it's gonna be annoying. I have all my medical supplies. It's about to be annoying to do this right now, but... I'm about to go ahead, zone out, and do this real quick. So I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all. I decided to take a walk to the beach. It's literally across the street from my hotel. I just needed to... I felt my blood pressure going up. <laughs> so I was like, I need to relax a little bit. You know, take take some time for myself. So I look super busy. So yeah, that's what I'm about to go do. And... I gotta tell y'all what happened. Oh, peace, y'all. I just need a little relaxation before tomorrow. Y'all, this thing is so beautiful. Let me show you guys. All right, y'all. I just made it back from the beach. Took me a little shower. Um, surgery day is tomorrow, guys. I'm super excited. Okay, let me tell y'all what happened. So, I think I told you guys earlier that I had Dr. Harry. And then I just couldn't lose any more weight. I had like maybe like seven more pounds to lose to be in, in that BMI range that he wants, which is the 33. And I was sick and tired of starving myself. So I was just kind of over it. And then I didn't want to take all these like weight loss, um, weight loss drinks and pills and stuff because they said they didn't want you to. So I just kind of like switched my doctor to, I switched my doctor to Kriegel. So after I switched my doctor to Kriegel, I went for my pre-op today. Everything was smooth. Everything was good. We got my time. They just called me as soon as I got back from the beach. They called me and told me, yo, we talked to Dr. Harry. Um, he's cool with your BMI being 34. Like, just come pull up tomorrow, 10 a.m. I'm like, 10 a.m.? Like, Dr. Harry, are you sure? Are y'all scamming me? You feel me? Like, y'all good? She's like, I wouldn't be telling you this if it wasn't true or I didn't believe it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, cool. Bet, right? So I'm going back to Dr. Harry. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know how I feel. I'm super excited because I love Dr. Harry. I've been following his journey for like, I've been looking at him for a good, probably like two years. So I've been looking at his work and I, you know, I've studied his stuff. So for me to have to switch to Kriegel, I was just really like, let me just get this surgery done since this is the time I have off right now. And everything, you know, everything turned. I just felt like Kriegel was good. I saw his results. They cool too. And, you know, of course I love Harry even more because he, he really, <laughs> ladies, y'all see Dr. Harry's work. He give y'all a shape, okay? So, um, you know, it was cool either way. But I'm happy now that I have Dr. Harry. So, fingers crossed, everything is smooth tomorrow. I just took my shower with the um, the, Do the Dove um, antibacterial soap. So, I just did that. But, um, so yeah, I'm just chilling. I didn't really get to eat today. I think I've just been super stressed, nervous. I have stuff going on back in LA. And it's just like a lot of stuff. So, I had to really just zone out and get my mind right for this surgery tomorrow so i'm happy my best friend who's an rn cash i love you she's comes tomorrow morning so her plane lands at 7 50 a.m so it's kind of perfect because i was stressing about her not being here in time 
because they want they like really press the issue about you um having somebody there like a companion there when you pull up so um so now that my time is pushed back a little bit she'll be here a perfect amount of time she'll be able to drop her stuff and we'll be able to head over which is cool because then i can film and she can help me film and stuff y'all time is ticking okay like hopefully i already know i'm gonna be waiting because earlier when i was in um pre-op i got there at 12 and i didn't leave there till like 2 30 so yeah hold on one moment <laughs>